Hello there, my kooky cockroaches. It's Breland here. I'm back. I hope all of y'all are doing good and you're staying home like basically what I do my entire life. Everyone's like, oh, I'm quarantining. I'm staying home and I'm not doing anything or I'm gonna work from home and I'm sitting here like, Okay, well, I'll just continue to do what I've been doing for 10 years. <laughs> I've literally been at home in quarantine for 10 years, pretty much, because I barely leave the house. I'm just a homebody. I like to stay home. And I've been self-quarantining for a very, very long time. This virus is spreading so fast. Here in Louisiana, Louisiana is in the top five worst states in the United States to be affected and I really think it has to do with the fact that we just recently had Mardi Gras and that's in New Orleans so we had like this big Mardi Gras event it lasts for like a week and people from all over the United States and all over the world come to Louisiana to party at Mardi Gras. There was just a lot of naked drunk people together all at once and I'm pretty sure some things went down that nobody really wants to see. That's probably how so many people contracted the virus here because it did start out in New Orleans and then like a couple days ago I just looked at the map and there is now a case in my smaller city. It's literally hitting very close to home at this point, like literally. I even know where the person is. They're at this hospital here that I'm very familiar with. I've been to that hospital before and they're in quarantine here. Luckily, it's only the one person. Hopefully, they pull through and everything's okay. But I also read stories about like this poor family who was from Jersey or New York, something like that, and they lost three members of their family to the coronavirus. And I am just speechless because, look, I've been around a long time, okay? You know this. I know this. I'm like an old toad sitting on a log. I have seen some crazy diseases going around. This is different this is like really really bad <laughs> it's like not cool at this point because it's killing people like this like people are getting it and then they're literally dying within like three days the people who got it here in Louisiana already like 10 people are dead out of like 400 something that got it almost 500 people here in Louisiana have COVID-19 and 11 of them last time I checked have died. I feel like we're going into this like end of world survival mode right now and first of all I didn't stockpile shit. I didn't do anything. I mean I ain't got the money to go out and buy like thousands of dollars in toilet paper and frozen meat and bread and stuff. Like, I'm on a fixed income here, and if I need food, I'll just go out and shoot a squirrel or something. I don't know. I don't have a gun. I guess I'll have to use a bow and arrow. We're going a really survivalist right now. I just find that the whole world is stopping. That's what it seems like. It seems like the whole freaking world is at a standstill. Like, life as we know it has changed. I just really hope everyone's government, you know, pulls together on this and helps each other out because a lot of us out there, we, we don't have the money to not work. And it's like, you either work or you die. So Slava, he works like out and about. He has to get out and go to work every single day. And I definitely worry for him because he could contract COVID-19 and bring it home to me even though I am self-quarantining and have been for a long time. It's definitely concerning. And I don't know, I just wanted to make this video to touch base with you and let you know that I'm with you, okay? I see what's going on. I mean, how could you not? It's literally a worldwide pandemic. And I can honestly say I've never seen this in my lifetime, ever. And for some reason, I keep 
going back and like comparing this to the bubonic plague, which happened in like the 1800s or some shit like that, I don't remember. I suck at history, but I did study the bubonic plague in school and it killed like millions of people. And at the rate that this virus is going at this point, it seems as though it could get to that point if not stopped. I think it's a good thing that everyone is self-quarantining and staying inside. It's just not a good thing for the economy, the world economy. I mean, I know this is all boring to some of you, but it's going to take a long time for the entire world to get back to normal again after this. This thing hit us hard and... You know, I didn't really take it seriously until later because, I mean, I've been through things like this before, diseases and such, I've seen on the news, but this is different. This is like affecting everyday life, like my everyday life, even in my small town, like businesses are closing down. With all the technology and stuff that we have out there right now, it's like, I don't really think the world itself was even ready for something like this. You know, in the back of your mind, you always think like, what would happen if we lost all power and we'd have to go back to living without the internet again and it went back to like apocalyptic type stuff? And you know, it was like a fun thing to think about, like being a survivalist and stuff. But now that I think about it, I'm not cool with that. I feel like our entire planet just got bitch slapped really, really hard and it's kind of like stumbling and it's like, oh shit, you know, okay, I gotta get my head back on straight. That's what the world is doing right now and fingers crossed we recover from this bitch slap because that bitch slapped us hard. It's just such a clusterfuck right now. I just hope that we can all just work together to get through this. This whole thing is definitely starting to feel more apocalyptic at this point. And me and Slava were like, oh, the world is ending or something. But it's like, they literally locked California. So, that's serious. And I just recently started to take this seriously. I know you may think, really, bitch? But... Yeah, really, because I've lived through this type of thing before and it never got this bad this fast. This is spreading like wildfire. I just wanted to make this video just to say hey and yeah, I'm also reacting to this craziness and I just hope that we don't lose tons and tons more people in the process. Hopefully our quarantining and shutting the whole world down will help to keep this virus at bay. So I'm gonna go. I hope that you take care of yourself and your family, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Love you, bye. I'm gonna go, bye.